Why are these PVC fittings blue? And why should you care? It's not for reclaimed water systems like you might think. If you deal with irrigation systems that have water pressure above 80 PSI, or if you've dealt with PVC fittings that have had mysterious pinholes in them, then you need to see this video. I'll show you what these fittings are, why you want to begin using them, and where to purchase them because they're not easy to find. I've found them indispensable. Beginning at least 10 years ago, I started coming across pinholes in specific places in certain fittings and didn't know what the cause was. I chalked it up to gopher bites since some of the pinholes had a chunk of plastic missing around the pinhole that resembled a gopher tooth mark. I finally learned from the Spears representative what the problem is. The polyvinyl chloride, or PVC, that is used to manufacture pipe fittings doesn't flex under high stress such as sprinkler valves kicking on and off under high water pressure conditions. So eventually a pinhole forms on the inside where the fitting is trying to flex. Spears has addressed this by adding a product to the PVC formula that allows the fitting to flex enough to absorb the shock. The color of the fitting is just a dye to distinguish it from other fittings. Do I use them all the time? No, I only use them in high pressure systems above 80 PSI. They are more than twice the price of a standard fitting, but it's worth every penny. Don't cut yourself short over the price. If you're in business and doing this for a client, then you simply pass the cost along to the client with your standard markup. Don't be shy about this. You actually want to promote this product to your clients when you need to use them and explain how beneficial these are in saving them costly future repairs and water loss. Labor prices are much more costly than the price of these fittings. Use the same glue we use for standard white fittings such as this. It would be a good idea to use this primer as well, like I do. These are available in many configurations and the size ranges from one inch to six inch and can be purchased through the link provided below. The ones I keep on my truck are the male adapters, 90 degree elbows, and the tees. I only keep one inch on my truck since I rarely deal with anything larger than that these days. I don't do new system installations anymore. My focus these days is troubleshooting and repairs, but if I did new installations, I would definitely install these ever tough fittings on my manifolds in high pressure situations. I am all about doing what's best for my clients, not focused on doing a job as cheap as possible with the highest profit. For me, profit is something I achieve in other ethical ways. A note about high pressure situations. If you have over 80 PSI on a job, you really should have a brass pressure regulator on the system before all the sprinkler valves. More on that in detail in another video. But I will say that if you don't do this, your valves, fittings, and sprinkler heads will take a beating over time and you'll be constantly dealing with cracked components. I've seen plenty of this. So where do fittings get the pinholes from flexing? On male adapters, it's usually right here under the lip under the threads. On elbows and tees, it's right here in the crotch. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called. As much time and effort it costs to the client to dig up the valve box and prep the site for replacing the valves or the entire manifold, it's best to use these ever tough fittings and don't take any chances. If you're installing or repairing a manifold that is encased in concrete, you really want to do it right. Okay, so where can you get these awesome wonders? Right here through my irrigation fittings resources page, and you can get them in any of the sizes you need. 
And remember to check out the free downloads using the link below. I have a wide range of things that can help you with your irrigation work. Have you ever encountered these pinholes or cracks in your PVC fittings? Tell us your stories in the comment section below. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.